So it's about almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon of April 11, and I'm going to finally finish this book today, so help me. And I'm going to read it in a tree. I'm currently in a tree. Hi, Dad! Hello. He's here to bring me a book. Yep. Hi! So while reading in a tree was fun, I decided that's really only for warmer days. Um, I am still working on Sinner, and I am about halfway through, maybe slightly over. I'm kind of hoping to finish it today. Um, it's it's gotten better. I think I've been able to accept it as its own book, and because of that, I've been enjoying it a lot more. It's it's definitely something I've just been flipping through. Like it's a pretty fast read, which I appreciate, especially for the OWLs. So, yeah, I think next time I'll update you guys is when I finish this and when I'm moving on to the next book. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read this inside because it got cold again, even though I loved reading in the tree for some strange reason, I did. Alrighty, hey guys, it is now April 14, I believe. We're two weeks into April now. I haven't been vlogging or updating much recently just because I've been pretty busy and not much interesting things have happened um but now something interesting has happened and I finished reading Sinner I finally finished it for those of you who don't know it's the fourth book in the Mercy Wolves of Mercy Falls series and I finally finished it today I finished it much later than I wanted to but I literally read like a third of it last night and then the last like hundred pages or so maybe not even this like now this afternoon as it is 5 30 um and I rated it two out of five stars because I I did not like a lot of what happened in this book in that I don't like how the whole aspect of him being a wolf was barely in the book. It only ever really was a thing in the last like 50 pages of the book. Like, you know, it just, like the whole series, The Wolves of Mercy Falls, the first three books were so centered about being a wolf and being a werewolf and figuring all that out. And I feel like this book just completely ditched it until like the very end. And like, there was a couple time or two more around the middle of the book where it's like, and he made himself become a wolf, and then there would be like two sentences, and then he was back into a human again. You know, it just didn't, it didn't feel consistent with the rest of the series. Um, I also, I just felt like this book was just such a toxic book, in that both the characters are struggling, and they are not doing a very good job of understanding each other, even though they both struggle with things. Um... So I just felt like both of them were just constant, were just super dramatic about it and like, oh, why does everything have to be so hard for you? Well, well, you're doing the exact same thing. You're saying everything is so hard about you. And it, it, it just, it was so constant that, just constantly up and down, constant, oh, uh, everything sucks. You know, it was a very flat book in that sense. Like, there, not much interesting happened and I feel like there was supposed to be some big shock in the book and there just really wasn't. I just I think it was a very dull kind of fell flat um like even reading it saying okay this is not associated with the first three books in the series I still think it really wasn't that great of a book um yeah so I just didn't enjoy it very much um I don't really see much of the point to adding this book on or even really writing this book because I loved the characters before this book and I like them a lot less now like I was okay with there being a book about them I was like all right this is kind of exciting you know they're gonna get their own book I just didn't I just didn't care for it I just I feel like I I don't know I don't know but yes, so now that means I have, what is it, three books finished? Yep, I have three books finished out of the 11 I'm hoping, nine that I need, so I'm one third of the way there. 
ish, I think. If I can math. I'm a reader. I don't math. Um, so now let's choose the next book. So these are all the books that I have left to read by the end of the month. But the thing is, I can pretty much eliminate the top row here because this one and this one are both books that I'm reading for seminars. So they're kind of my last priority right now. And this one is actually a book I have to read for my literature class. So I want to wait until this is actually homework and then I can complete it for both class and the readathon. So I'm also going to take this one out of consideration. So then I have these four books left here. This one's about 350 pages, long chapters. This one I have about 200 pages left in from when I previously started it and it's such a slow read that I'm not starting over. This is the one time I'm slightly bending the rules but I know other people are doing things like that as well so I'm going to be okay with that. Um, this one is also, I think this one was longer, this one was like 450, maybe 500 pages, um, and then this one is 350 pages with shorter chapters. And saying all that out loud makes me think I'm going to go ahead with this one because it is the next shortest and then seems like the fastest read. Um, this was, oh, you can hear my cat crying because she feels lonely in a house full of people who constantly pet her. Anyway, I think I'm going to go with this book next because, like I said, it's the next shortest and this was the require- this fulfills the requirement for the class that made me do a random generator, which was divination. So I think I'm going to do some divination now, yay! Okay, one thing I do want to add about Sinner is that one thing I really did like about it, and kind of the reason why I gave it two stars, was there was a character in there named Leon, and he was a driver, and I loved him. I loved Leon. I think he's the best part about the book. I love this character. I love his personality. Like, oh my gosh, that's, like, my favorite thing about the book. Like, literally pretty much gave an entire star just for this one sub character like Leon yes so the next book I've chosen to read is The Killing Woods by Lucy Christopher uh, this book is about a obviously someone gets murdered uh, in the woods uh, the murder victim is Ashley and uh, the main character the person who he follows dad was an ex-soldier and he has PTSD and he has really bad PTSD during a thunderstorm one night he finds her dead body in the woods and so his daughter is like I need to prove that my dad didn't kill her that my dad is innocent but she also needs to you know make sure that he isn't innocent because he just kind of carried her into the house and thought he was back at war and so it was really hard to tell like what the true story was um so yeah that's pretty much what this book is about and um, that's really not a lot to go off of, but that's all the information I could find, like, on the book itself, and I don't want to look it up because I don't like knowing a lot about mysteries before I read them, because then I feel I have too much information and I'm already guessing, or, you know, I just, I like reading mysteries that are actually mysterious to me rather than, like, oh, I, I know exactly what this book is about, I just need to know who did it, so. This is the next book I'll be reading, hopefully I can get it finished quickly at least by the end of the week if not this one and another book started and part way through by the end of the week I think that's gonna be my goal and today is Tuesday and I am gonna just write a paper and read a book and hopefully we can call that good so here I go